Hey, what's up guys? Uh, just here at the shop doing some work on this Evo 8 here and uh, just about to install a ETS short route intercooler piping kit onto this thing. So I uh, wanted to give you guys a little video on, I don't know, my take on doing this. So yeah, let's get into it. Hey, what are you guys doing? Not making it easy to get stuff done. You just kicking the cat? All right, that's enough playtime. Let's get to work. When you order the short route intercooler piping kit from ETS, this is what you get comes with a checklist straight from the factory with the stamp shipped by Trevor thank you Trevor so as you can see it's got three two and a half t-bolt clamps one 2.75 t-bolt uh, t-bolt clamp one 2.5 straight coupler one 2.5 to 2.75 straight reducing coupler uh, intercooler pipes, uh, so there's two intercooler pipes. It's got the lower section, the piece comes straight off of the intercooler, which is mounted with this piece here. And two of the two and a half inch T clamps. Then you have the upper intercooler pipe right here. And that is mounted to the throttle body with this piece here, which is the 2.75 to 2.5 inch coupler, and that uses the one 2.75 inch T-bolt clamp and one 2.5 inch T-bolt clamp. Um, also in the kit, you have the uh, wastegate or blow-off valve hose, I guess. Um, let's see what that is. Yeah, okay. Actually, I guess that was extra because as you can see, it's not in the uh, packing slip or the picture of the kit contents that were sent. Um, but regardless, that, that is uh, the piece that connects onto the upper intercooler pipe to um, connect your blow-off valve. So, yeah, that one is the, uh, the two regular hose clamps here. And aside from that, uh, so you have this piece here to the throttle body at the top. And then, uh, sorry, I should have that flipped around because that's kind of the way it goes if, uh, you know, if you're looking at it appropriately, I suppose. Um, so you have this piece connecting to the throttle body. Uh, in this kit, it didn't come with a coupler to connect the upper pipe to the lower pipe. So what I did was use the coupler that came off of the car originally uh, to solve my problem there. So that'll connect the upper pipe to the lower pipe. And then I'll use these two two and a half inch T-bolt clamps for that. So if you have that issue, um, hopefully you're able to Get around it as easily as I did by using the coupler that comes off of the factory lower intercooler pipe. Got everything laid out here. All the contents of the ETS kit minus these two two and a half inch clamps and this coupler off the factory intercooler piping. So this upper pipe here, you can see one, one end there has a little bit less of a bend in it. That's going to be the end that connects to the lower intercooler pipe. That right there is the end that connects to the intercooler directly. You have the one ETS provided two and a half inch to two and a half inch coupler with two T clamps, both two and a half inch. 
the lower intercooler pipe. I was lucky enough to have this factory intercooler coupler and two factory T-bolt clamps to connect the lower pipe to the upper pipe. And then from there, you have the hose to connect your blow-off valve. Two hose clamps, which goes on to that fitting right there. And at the top here, you have the ETS provided two and a half to 2.75 inch coupler to the throttle body with one 2.75 inch T-bolt clamp and one two and a half inch T-bolt clamp. All finished up now. Couplers and clamps in place. There's the lower pipe there coming through. Factory coupler and clamps. And into the upper pipe. The blow off valve hose. Then going into the throttle body. And as I was saying earlier, you're going to have to figure something out with your factory battery tray. As you can see where its mounts are, it just isn't, you're not going to be able to make it work with this short route piping kit. So I'm curious to hear what your guys' solutions to this is, what some of you have done. All finished up. Hopefully that helped some of you guys out. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Click the link below. Peace.